Hey there everybody, x 90 Boy X here again. Got another video today. Sorry about the hiatus. <clears throat> I was sick for a couple weeks and I'm just now feeling better. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into my top five favorite fragrances to wear during the fall season, okay? Coming in at the number five spot, we've got a discontinued fragrance by the house of Yves Saint Laurent, and this is M7. Now with M7, you're going to get an amber, woody, slightly oody accord. There's some moss in there, uh, fragrance of this musk and amber green the base. But what I get with this one is a nice cherry oud combo, if you will. I know that sounds kind of strange, but if you kind of think of like cherry coke, kind of goes that route, in my opinion. YSL's M7 is now discontinued, um, but it is still available to buy under the name M7 Oud Absolu. Number 5 spot, YSL's M7. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have a fragrance by the house of Roja Dub, and that is Roja's Amber Oud. Now with this one, yet again, uh, amber, of course, oud is in the fragrance. There's also a nice, delicate red rose, um, as well as some musk in there. Very, very upscale fragrance. Very long-lasting. Slightly powdery, but just, just a beautiful blended fragrance. On the pricey side, however, I must say, so sample it before you buy it. Um, I would definitely recommend sampling it. But number four spot, coming in with Roja Dove's Amber Oud. All right, number three spot. Got a Guerlain. This is Guerlain Lidge, known as L'Instant de Guerlain Eau Extreme. Now with this one, you've got a cocoa, sweet, vanillic, almost honeyed vibe. Perfect. Perfect for the fall. Powdery, in the same vein almost as uh, Diorum, Diorum Intense even, um, and the Parfum as well. So if you like those kind of fragrances, I would definitely check this one out. Um, very, very nice. It's elegant. Um, you can dress it up, dress it down, wear it casually, formally. Um, Eau de Perfume Strength, this is the older bottle with the black edges here. Um, it's still being sold, it just has a clear glass bottle all the way through. I'm not sure how those perform, uh, the newer batch of course, um, but with the original batch like this, very very long lasting, uh, six to eight hours at least on my skin. Um, the projection's about half that, so very very awesome fragrance. Check it out if you have not. This is definitely in top fives for a reason. Guerlain's L'Instant de Guerlain Eau Extreme, number three. Coming in at the number two spot, we have a fragrance by Arabian Oud, and this is Kalamat. Now, this fragrance roughly runs around $100, $120 retail. Um, I got mine for about $100, give or take. Now with this one, you're going to get again, amber, vanilla, some spices, um, and to be honest, this thing lasts forever. Two sprays and you're done for at least a day, day and a half, easy. Get this on clothes, week. So be in your clothes for a week, guaranteed, until you wash them next. Um, as you can see, I haven't used a lot of the bottle because of how strong it is. Um, but I'm telling you what, you don't need a lot of this, and I've had this bottle for well over a year now. But if you love sweet, vanillic, not gourmand, uh, amber and vanilla, please do yourself a favor, check this one out. This is Kalamat by Arabian Hood. Alright, last but not least, we got our number one coming up, and this one... Oh, what can I say about this one? 
This one kind of stole my heart the first time I saw it. Um, presentation's beautiful. Fragrance is stunning. It's long lasting. It's another 24 hour plus fragrance. It reminds me of Tom Ford's Amber Absolute, the original formulation that is a beast with that smoke, resin, labdanum, amber, vanilla thing going on. Except with a little hint of a musky edge and oud, if you will. So with that being said, number one for my top five fall fragrances 2016 is none other than Stephen Humbert Lucas Oud 777. Now, this is pure luck in a bottle. You want to feel lucky, you want to get lucky, right here. This juice is expensive, but it is probably one of the best resinous, amber, spicy, smoky fragrances that I have come across. Like I said, Tom Ford Amber Absolute comes up to mind. Um, even Calamat in the number two spot share a little similarity. But this is very, very, I wouldn't say natural smelling, but it smells very regal, very thick, very concentrated, if you will. Smoke, amber, resins, labdanum, touch of oud, beautiful, beautiful creation. This one I almost am at a loss for words of. Please sample this one. These have been coming up on uh, discounted retailer sites online um, for cheaper price than retail. I believe these go for around four or five hundred, if I'm not mistaken, for retail price. Uh, but they can be had for under, I believe, three hundred dollars now. This juice, magnificent. I've had this bottle for quite some time, at least since last last winter, and I have not used barely any of this bottle up. And this is a 50 milliliter bottle. So that just goes to show this bad boy is not playing games. This is a masterpiece resinous amber fragrance. If you love amber, if you love resins, this one belongs in your collection. But I must warn, sample it first. Okay. Number one, Oud 777 by Stephen Humbert Lucas. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in and checking out my top five video for fragrances of the fall season. This is X Donny Boy X signing off. If you enjoyed this content, please let me know down below in a comment. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you then. Take care, guys.